Hi there folks, my name is NovaWing24 and welcome to the Nova Wrap, your one-stop location for all your simulation release news and goings on from the week that was. So we are here on Sunday the 4th of December 2016 for another wrap and I'm back once again with the Nova Wrap. So let's uh, jump straight into it, shall we? Um, for, so obviously, yes, I am still alive. I survived my Spartan race. So win three trifectas for this year, kind of tough with myself. But anyway, enough self-congratulation. Let's move on with the release news for the week. Alrighty, so let's Let's get the big one out of the way this week. So, uh, X-Plane 11 has arrived. Well, at least it's arrived in beta form. Uh, and interestingly enough, the guys over at X-Plane, Austin and the team at X-Plane, have released X-Plane 11 uh, beta as a free demo. So, uh, the free demo uh, that is currently available um, is for the beta version and it is limited to uh, the Seattle to Tacoma area. Uh, but you can unlock the full beta if you do buy in now to it. Uh, what's interesting is is that if you already have a, um, if you have purchased uh, X Plane 10 in the last few months or last few weeks, um, or if you purchase X Plane 11 beta now, you will get full access to X Plane 10 uh, to keep you going and while they uh, work out all the development bugs of X Plane 11. Uh, funny enough, though, this is not available to Steam users. So if you have picked up X Plane 10 uh, via Steam in the last few weeks, or if you do pick it up at the moment, you will not be eligible for your free upgrade to X Plane 11. So just F FYI on that one. Uh, otherwise, no, if you do want to upgrade to or you do want to be part of the beta for X Plane 11, it is available now directly from xplanex-plane.com uh, or available from Aerosoft's uh, web store now at the moment as well. So, a couple of the highlights of uh, what's new in X Plane 11 uh, is that they've uh, overhauled the fleet of um, uh, aircraft, the default aircraft that are available into it. Quite an impressive range and looking quite detailed as well. Uh, graphically, this is looking very, very nice as well. They've gone to a lot of detail making sure that all of the default fleet uh, does come with a full virtual cockpit as well, which is something that was missing from previous versions of x uh, from previous versions of x uh, They've updated the G1000 uh, avionics as well, uh, along with giving a uh, re revamping completely the user interface, which uh, probably is like the biggest thing for me. The, the user interface of x 10 is a freaking nightmare. It is horrifying. It really is. Um, so yeah, it's a lot more user-friendly now, a lot easier to set up um, and looking at that now. Um, other than that, it does have some basic tutorials come through for that one for uh, basic flight navigation. So your basic kind of tutorial lessons that you come up with all good quality flight simulators um, and improve interaction with your 3D virtual cockpit as I said, which is uh, in all the VE, which is in all the default fleet now as well. As well as some updated, uh, a hell of a lot of graphical updates, uh, light sound and special effects engine as well has all been incredibly updated looking quite impressive uh, so as I said um, it is but wanting it is still in beta so you are if you are buying into X plane 11 you are buying into a beta so you are part of the development you are part of the bug testing so expect bugs um, so it's not finalized yet of course it is coming out uh, you know the uh, anticipated full release will be uh, early next year uh, so yeah very exciting time for X plane um, I, I, I will be the first to admit that you know I, I've I've prepared a X, X plane in the past um, but uh, you know I had some uh, had been studying under under Cat Strider and uh, and Bell Geode and sort of learning a few things about X Plane 10 and you know what yeah you know, if if they really deliver on all this stuff that they're promising X Plane 11 um, that's going to be a really impressive finale it's really going to be very interesting so yes but yes if you do want to buy into it and get into it now X Plane 11 uh, if you do want to try it out the free demo is available now head over to www.x-plane.com uh, to try your free demo now to see if it is for you and if you want to be part of the development available now. Alrighty, moving into other flight simulation release news this week. There wasn't a lot of releases um, for flight simulation uh, this week, so we only saw uh, a couple of releases. Uh, so we saw uh, DCS World Tour. We kind of covered this off already. The DCS F5E Tiger 2 uh, was uh, did uh, leave early access and go full version um, a few weeks ago, but it is now available on the Steam store as well. So uh, perhaps potentially we are now seeing the DCS guys paying a bit more attention to those of us who uh, fly DCS on Steam. Uh, nice to see that we're getting a little bit more support from them. That would be cool. Uh, so yes, yeah, so that is available now on the Steam store. Same price as expected. Uh, otherwise, uh, in Back in the world of the uh, ESP world, uh, we saw the guys from Mex High Flight. Uh, they released uh, Muha La Havana Jose Mati, in, uh, Mati International Airport. So uh, we're heading over to Havana in Cuba. Uh, so it's um, basically the uh, the main international airport uh, for uh, Havana in Cuba. 
coming through just uh, very uh, close to the final city of uh, Jose Mate, um, which is apparently was a Cuban patriot poet, apparently. Um, but yeah, it is, it is, essentially this is the primary uh, gateway uh, for international travel in and out of uh, Cuba. So yeah, very interesting. Um, so mapped quite well, you know, it was all up to date with the uh, 2016 uh, layout of the airfield, fully uh, designed to be compatible with uh, GSX, uh, Orbix, uh, FTX uh, Global and Vector as well. So looking kind of cool. Um, Though, I, I, again, like a lot of these um, releases that are coming out at the moment, um, the quality is not something that you would see from the likes of um, uh, of Orbix or Aerosoft. You know, it is sort of, you know, fairly limited in its quality, but still, you know, it gives you an alternative destination if you do want to grab it. Uh, available for 17 euros uh, from the Sim Market Store, available now. In other flight simulation release uh, news this week from the ESP World, we saw the release from the guys over at Fl Flight Replicas. So Flight Replicas have got a quite a varied uh, inventory of aircraft, and they've uh, come uh, with another uh, kind of cool, interesting one as well, uh, which is the Canada North Star. So uh, essentially, uh, this is a, a Canadian um, derivative um, uh, of based on the uh, Douglas DC-4, a sort of veteran of uh, the Second World War. Um, so you know, to, to back into the, the later stages of the Second World War. Except this was uh, designed with because of the um, um, uh, surplus and the uh, reliability of uh, Merlin engines over uh, Pratt and Whitney engines. Uh, it was decided by Canada decided that uh, they would uh, retrofit a DC-4 and turn it in and equip it with these uh, those beautiful Merlin engines uh, to create the North Star. So it, it's very interesting um, as well because it's uh, it, it sort of basically went through it sort of went the it's the DC-4 platform, um, but some of the um, elements of it are taken from the DC-6 as well so it's 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 very interesting it's got a kind of like a a quad a um uh, it's sort of a, a, an odd development history sort of coming into the back and to, to being designed developed during the, the later stages of the Second World War uh, while still incorporating some of the uh, things with the new DC-6 but uh, in the end it lucked out um, to the DC-6 and later ev uh, evolutions as well with um, many airlines retiring it not long after being in uh, in service uh, simply because of the uh, the Merlins as beautiful powerful as they are they're also extremely noisy um, and not the, perhaps the most suited for passengers your operations, so uh, it's uh, it's 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 work as a uh, as an airliner was uh, was short lived, um, though uh, it would go on into uh, to quite a few cargo uh, companies where uh, noise isn't so much of a problem. Uh, well into the 1970s, so yeah, this is a beautiful rendition of it uh, with many of the airlines that it flew with, including uh, Trans Canada, um, Canada Pacific. Canadian Pacific, uh, BOAC, and British Midlands all included with this as well. Available now uh, from the Flight Replica store uh, for $29.95 US dollars or your original equivalent. Available now. Well, as I said, uh, yeah, very little in the flight simulation news this week, so moving on to other simulation worlds at the moment. Now we're going to go back to ground level. We're going to go down to the world of Euro Truck Simulator. So Euro Truck Simulator 2 has come out with yet another pack of paint jobs for you to spruce up the liveries of your vehicles. Uh, so when you're driving around Europe and you can now show off two new national pride colours, uh, you've uh, with the release of the Belgian and Finnish paint job packs. Um, so much like what we've seen uh, before, um, you do have, uh, you get uh, four uh, flags or four paint jobs with this one, uh, three cool sort of interesting little paint jobs and then uh, just a basic um, a, a flag paint as well with just uh, the uh, basic uh, factory livery uh, with the simple national flag painted on as well. Um, so if you do want to show your national pride as a, as a Belgian or Finnish supporter, uh, you can pick these up now on Steam uh, for 99 US cents um, or your regional equivalent available now. All right, sticking at ground level, of course, and moving into the world of OMSI 2, for those who love ferrying around virtual passengers around European roadways, uh, we've got the Doppelgelenk bus. Seriously, I, when I saw the name of this thing, I, I did a double take and just thought it was a doppelganger. I'm thinking, wait, what? But I kind of get it because it's you know it's a it's a fully uh, it's a fully functional bi-articulated bus, um, which is uh, one of the elements that was added into the latest updates of OMSI 2. Uh, so bringing the, of course the 80 foot this 80 foot monstrosity of 117 uh, passengers uh, is able to be now tr taken around your bus routes around Europe. So uh, looking pretty damn cool. A lot of uh, sounds, all of the sounds and the visuals of 
in uh, the, uh, the the switches and the sounds that you hear inside the cab have all been recorded from an actual real buses working in Hamburg. So a lot of auth uh, authenticity coming through here, along with uh, a realistic and actual real world paint schemes for you as well. Um, you also get a additional vehicle, you get a bonus vehicle with this one, um, a 40 foot city bus, uh, the A330 gets included with this one as well, um, as well as having a, a couple of new challenges being included as, and a fully functional paint kit included as well. So yes, available now from Steam or directly from uh, Aerosoft, uh, from the Aerosoft web store, available now for about 10 US dollars or your near or your regional equivalent available now. Alrighty, and continuing on, staying once again at the ground level and sticking with public transportation into the world of Train Simulator this week. So, uh, the guys over at Train Simulator for Train Simulator 2017 have, uh, Dubtile Games have released a, uh, yet another train has been released. So this is the uh, British Rail Class 150-1, uh, diesel, um, diesel unit has been released. So this one, uh, again has got a, uh, a, a interesting history going through, uh, produced, um, uh, throughout the 1970s, I do believe. Uh, it comes through and uh, yeah, just, it's another little sort of hybrid unit, uh, it was, it was, oh, sorry, a diesel unit uh, designed for the uh, some of the more longer haul uh, uh, routes as well, but uh, primarily just for the passenger routes, uh, no uh, cargo for this one. Now this one does include, like we see with a lot of uh, the train simulator stuff, this does include three scenarios, however it, the three scenarios do require an additional purchase, so they do require the South Wales Coastal Bristol to Swansea route if you do want to make uh, use of the three scenarios that come included with this vehicle. Um, otherwise it is fully quick drive compatible and compatible with with Steam Workshop scenarios, uh, so you can make your own and get yours if you, uh, or uh, get some of the other wonderful community creations out there if you do choose to do so. Available now for 11 US dollars or your regional equivalent, available now on Steam. Alright, still yet more things on the road, and again, yet again, it seems that every single week when I do one of these uh, episodes, there is yet another simulator for something that I didn't think was possible to actually simulate. So th this one, this I got. I, I will. I will not lie. I got quite the chuckle out of this one when I saw this one come up. So this is Roadworks, the simulation. Um, so I I don't know what your what your my, you guys as my viewers' experience of uh, driving past Roadworks is. Um, but uh, one of my things is is that uh, whenever I seem to drive past road, Roadworks, I seem to see a very large number of now, no offense. So I don't want to preface this by saying no offense. I'm sure you guys are all doing stuff, but the public perception is is that you know. We, we drive past Roadworks and we see 20 guys and we see one guy working. So, you know, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, it's a horrible cliche and, you know, a full respect to you what you guys do because, you know, otherwise without what you do we wouldn't be able to drive around, we wouldn't be able to enjoy airports, all that kind of stuff. But, you know, the visual perspective is kind of horrible. Anyway, um, so yeah, I, I was admitting that uh, when I saw this, I was wondering, is this going to be a stand and watch somebody work simulator? But apparently not. No, apparently uh, this involves you actually uh, laying out, um, widening roadways, uh, widening motorways, actually diverting traffic, uh, being able to uh, rebuild secure sections, uh, and actually make sure things are all uh, working ship shape and crystal fashion to make sure that all the that your workers are safe and that the traffic continues to flow. So yes, this is available now for 10 US dollars or your regional equivalent available now on Steam. Alright, and continuing with release this week and uh, moving something to a bit more of a faster pace. So, uh, for the racing fans out there, uh, we saw Aqua Motor Racing Utopia uh, get uh, its full version get released this week. Uh, so, this one uh, has been available on a PlayStation uh, for about a month, I believe, uh, but it's now moved, made its way over onto PC. Now, this reminds me back to the uh, the heady days of a, Nintendo, of a Nintendo 64 uh, with I'm pretty sure it was called Wave Racer. Um, so you basically get to zip around on a jet ski at various racing courses around the world. Um, you've got a uh, dynamic single player campaign with uh, three different divisions around a whole heap of uh, around uh, ten different race courses uh, located in various beautiful seaside places around the world. 
Uh, you've also got uh, full multiplayer compatibility, both um, uh, both with custom freestyle styles, time trials, as well as uh, local and online multiplayer as well. And you've also got a free exploration mode. So yeah, looking kind of cool. A couple of different uh, game modes coming through there. Um, there's, so there's 10 different environments, 50 different uh, race tracks across those 10 environments, and 44 different types of uh, racing vehicles for you to go through and try and perfect some skills at. Uh, so yes, currently available, normally 30 US dollars, um, but currently available on a launch special for 20 US dollars available now on Steam. Alrighty, for those fishing aficionados, there is a new player on the block, and this is a kind of weird, kind of not sure what to make of this one. So this is Atom Fishing 2. I'll be honest, I didn't even know there was an Atom Fishing 1, apparently there was. Anyway, so Atom Fishing 2 is a free-to-play freemium uh, style game uh, with in-app purchases. Now this one is a fishing with a twist. It is taking place, is a fishing simulator taking place in a post-apocalyptic a post -apocalyptic era. Um, so there is a bit of crafting going on, there is a bit of RPG elements going through here, but it is primarily about the fishing and exploring a post-apocalyptic post-apocalyptic nuclear wasteland. Um, I, I want to say this is like Fallout 4 meets uh, fishing uh, Eurofish, but I don't think it is. Uh, currently, it's still a bit of a work in progress. Uh, as I said, it is an MMO. The core game is free to play uh, with in-app purchases. What's interesting, this has come from a um, Russian developer uh, by the name of Wolf. Uh, Wolf. W-O-O-L-F, uh, apparently. Um... And, uh, yeah, it, it's a Russian development team who, at the moment, it is only in Russian. So if you don't speak Russian, can't translate Russian, perhaps best to wait till they finish off their English content update for you, so which is apparently uh, not far away. Apparently it is only about a, a few two to four weeks away, so hopefully we should have that for before the new year. Uh, but yes, if this is something to do, maybe even just to give it a try because it is free, this could be interesting to give it a shot and see what happens with that one. So far, it seems to be most people seem to be thinking it's pretty cool, so yeah. yeah but not for me. Anyway, but yes, if it does tickle your fancy, available now uh, on Steam, Atom Fishing 2. Alrighty, and in other releases this week, so the guys over at City Skylines have been uh, busy behind the scenes, uh, so they have released uh, three DLCs this week. Um, so they've released their uh, Natural Disasters DLC, where you get to uh, go through and actually uh, get um, some uh, some challenging and some insightful events that will actually come through for you as well. Uh, everything from a asteroid impact through a nuclear uh, plant uh, going uh, going through and um, detonating in your city and now you have cities radio so you can actually actually help uh, keep your uh, keep your uh, citizens safe by uh, putting public broadcast messages out on the radio to help uh, spread evacuation warnings and emergency alerts to your denizens of your cities and apparently there is thing uh, there are new hats for chopper that annoying little Twitter parody that is there but anyway uh, so yeah there are scenarios for here as well as being able to integrate into the standard free play as well available now for 15 US dollars or your original equivalent available now. The uh, second piece of DLC is a content pack uh, with a series of high-tech buildings. Um, so you get a whole stack of, uh, you get uh, 10, high, sorry, 15 new um, uh, high-tech buildings that are included with this pack. Everything from a bit of uh, arcology-esque from the old SimCity days uh, with things like vertical farms uh, all the way through to software development studios television stations, uh, intelligence agencies, which doubles as a, a larger police headquarters, um, a medical laboratory, cryopreservation cryopreser set, which is essentially a large crematorium, uh, as well as a smaller university and um, a space shuttle launch site. I'm getting this, I'll be honest, I'm going to get this just so I can get this, try and work my way to the space shuttle launch site. I, I, I dabble in City Skylines from time to time when I can, which is not as much as I want to, but I, I do kind of think that's cool. Uh, and uh, yeah, you've got a bit of a television station going on. So yes, available now to get a bit more high tech to your uh, to your cities. Available now, only five bucks, not a bad deal for a few buildings, so pretty cool story for that one available now on Steam.
And rounding out the City Skylines releases for this week, uh, this is essentially a aud- or an audio soundtrack add-on pack. Uh, so this one is the uh, City Skylines Relaxation Station, uh, which essentially gives you a, a new set, 20 new tracks uh, to actually add to your um, your city building soundtrack, uh, which comes through. Uh, holy, essentially, it's a, it's a bit of more of a soothing uh, soothing set. So as I said, uh, by the Relaxation Station uh, idea. Um, so we've got uh, Jow, Jow, we've got Jow, if I can talk properly today, we've got Susan, got some soothing jazz, lounge music, groove music, and even a pleasant Caribbean vibe. It can all be found in here. So, uh, our pretty cool add on. Um, look, you know, it supports some cool artists. You know, I'm, I'm gonna pick this one up just because it's kind of cool to have a bit of different music. Cause I'm kind of over the current music, as good as it is. Don't get me wrong, the City Skyline, City Skyline soundtrack is one of the better ones out there at the moment. So anyway, uh, but yes, four dollars, uh, which is a hell of a lot cheaper than most albums are going to be out on iTunes. And yeah, you do get the full um, WAV copies, um, uh, or Flack, Flack, Flack or uh, WAV. I can't remember which one it is. I just looked at it and can't remember. Anyway, uh, but you do get the the uh, full copies uh, uh, DRM free as well once you've uh, purchased it as well. So kind of cool for that one. Alrighty, folks. Well, that does round out the Nova app for the new, the release news for the Nova app for this week. Thank you very much for joining me. But before I go, I do just want to give a huge shout out to a cool little event that is coming up um, in uh, in uh, two weeks' time, just under two weeks' time. So, uh, the uh, whole heap of flight simulation communities have gathered together to do the cross-platform, cross-community Christmas Flight 2016. Uh, so, this is going to be held on Saturday, the 17th of December at 2000 Zulu. Um, so whatever that time equivalent is for you guys in the, in the US and uh, the rest of the world. Please uh, remember this is done in Zulu time. Uh, so what this one does is we're going to be bringing together a whole heap of communities. Uh, so far, the communities that have already committed to this one is uh, Boston Virtual, um, ARTCC, uh, MSFlights.net, uh, Elite Premier Virtual, Eastern Hops, and Maldair have all signed up for this one as well. And so I believe uh, more communities are always welcome to join. Uh, but you don't have to be a member of uh, community to join. Feel free to come along. Head over to the website. I'll pop the uh, link in the description down below for you to head out and check it out. Um, so there's going to be a whole heap. Basically, it's going to be a great time for us all, for us, all us flight simulation um, enthusiasts to actually get together and just have a chat and actually, you know, just spend some time chatting and uh, about all the things that affect us as a community and just generally enjoying a really cool slow flight. Um, the flight's going to be kicking off... Um, uh, from Echo, Fox, Hot, Romeo, Oscar, and coming through, uh, we are, there is going to be some ATC elements, uh, not necessarily. Uh, it's going to be held on Join FS, uh, which is a really cool uh, multiplayer, cross-platform multiplayer tool that I've been experimenting with for the last few months. Uh, really, really awesome setup, and I will be doing a video on that coming up in the uh, near future. Uh, but yeah, it's a really cool little platform. It allows, uh, it doesn't matter what uh, flight sim that you have, whether you have X-Plane uh, 9, 10, 11, uh, well, not sure about 11, but if you have X-Plane 9 or 10, or if you have FS9, uh, FSX, FSX Steam, FSX Box, uh, P3D in all its formats, uh, you will be able to join in these flights. It is a really cool little piece of software. Very quick, very simple to set up, easy to set up as well. Um, so the, all the instructions to do that are there. It is going to be held on a TeamSpeak server. Um, so uh, keep, head over to the website for actually all the details and stay tuned. And I hope to see many of you guys uh, on the actual Christmas flight because it's going to be great to catch up with you all and just uh, generally uh, just generally have a chat and actually enjoy speaking and enjoy chatting to everybody and uh, just generally enjoying a great time that we have embracing the passionate hobby that we have for flight simulation. So yes, that is coming up on uh, the, the Saturday, the 17th of December at 2000 Zulu. Uh, for, as I said, uh, head over to the website to register for your interest and uh, get all the details available there. Alright folks, that does now finally wrap up the Nova app for this week. Thank you very much for joining me. Don't forget, as always, to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you're enjoying these videos and want to see more. And of course, as always, if you have any, you can always catch up with me and all the things I'm up to between videos by finding me on Facebook and on Twitter. Just search Novawing24. All right, all right, folks, thanks very much for watching. Take care, safe skies to all, and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.